Well, we were seeing more law enforcement officers a short time ago. We saw an FBI evidence response team arrive on the scene, so presumably they will be assisting state and local investigators as they collect evidence from the scene. Now, deputies took the suspect away from the scene in the back of a Rankin County cruiser a short time ago. He was handcuffed and slumped over authorities, and the U.S. Marshals with the U.S. Marshals in Jackson, police captured 37-year-old Daniel Callahan Thursday afternoon after a short pursuit. Officers caught Callahan when he tried to run into the woods on Bozer Drive in South Jackson after he was taken into custody. That's when police say they found the body of three-year-old Erin Brunette dead in the woods behind the house. They say they don't know how she died. They also found her six-year-old sister, Jaylee Burnett, near the same location. She was injured, taken to a local hospital to be treated for her injuries. We spoke with Chief Joe Wade and his reaction to when he laid his eyes on the young dead girl. Horrible, horrible, tragic situation. You don't want to see that as a police chief. You don't want to see that as a father to see this baby on the ground that has lost her life. This is, a, this is an innocent four-year-old child that's no longer with us because of the actions of a coward, a coward who took this child from her family, who killed their mother supposedly, and brought these children to Jackson, Mississippi and took this child's life. So it's horrible, it's tragic, it's traumatic even for my officers to see this. It's traumatic. We didn't come to work to see this today. And police believe Callahan is an acquaintance of a woman found dead in LaRanja, Louisiana, perhaps early this morning or yesterday, we believe. They don't believe that he is the father of the two girls who were taken from the home, which triggered this Amber Alert. Now, the police chief says an officer with the Byram Police Department actually got captured Callahan's car, perhaps driving down I-55, and that's with, with a license plate reader, and that's when authorities got first word that he was here in the Jackson metro area, and the chief says he's called in the MBI as well as the Hines County Human Trafficking Division because he says there appears to be evidence of human trafficking going on at this home where Callahan was taken into custody and the, the dead girl and her sister were both discovered this afternoon. Again, just a horrible, horrible, tragic scene, a horrible ending to an, an awful situation. For now, we're live in South Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.